Hey guys, welcome back, and I apologize ahead of time if the lighting has been getting worse and worse. I, uh, I oathed to finish at least the first 30 videos <laughs> recording them tonight, so whew, it's getting a little dark. <laughs> By that I mean it's pitch black out, but that's okay. We're moving on to a topic, and this is really cool because this is like not only useful in machine learning, but in so many areas of computer science, and that is the data structure trees. So trees are a type of data structure and a data structure is just a way to store data. A tree is pretty interesting and it is basically a very foundational piece of machine learning and decision making. So to make a tree we start with these uh, crazy shapes. Uh, in computer science we call them circles and you have these lines between the circles. Okay, so the actual technical name for these circles are uh, nodes. So you can have what we call the root node, which is the one at the very top, and we call these, you know, child nodes. But it's all relative, so a child node can also be a parent node, and what that means is it also has children, like so. And you can have as many nodes as you like. There are specific types of trees, specifically binary trees, where you can't have three nodes, you can only have zero, one, or two. But we're just talking about general trees here, so it's okay to have multiple nodes. I'm not gonna go into all the rules for trees and the different types, but there is a lot of information out there on trees. So if you wanna know tons of detail, I'm sure it's out there. Probably the most important nodes in this tree are what are known as leaf nodes. So the leaf nodes are the nodes at the very end. In this case, these are the leaf nodes. So the leaf nodes are the end of the tree and usually contain the information we are looking for. So when we get into making these trees, the information inside of this node, for example, is going to be very important. Whereas these nodes are going to contain information on how to get to this node. This is like the end result and this is kind of like the path to get there. And that is the way we're going to represent it in this specific situation, but in other uses of trees, they might use the nodes for different things. Like for example, these might not be a representation of the path to get to the leaf nodes. They might be data themselves. So yeah guys, that is a brief introduction to trees. I know it's very brief, but the most important part is that you understand just the basics. In the next video, we're going to be talking about a very specific type of tree called a decision tree. And that is what we're going to be using in machine learning. Please be sure to check that out and please be sure to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you then.